Am I supposed to give you my secret? No. The secret. Tessie always wants it. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about blogging before we bring Craig up here. And that, that, so you know my story. That's how I got started in this whole thing, was I was writing blog posts about people I was following online, which is one of the things I teach, is if you actually are doing a blog and don't know what to write about, find some interesting people and blog about them. So I decided to write five blog posts on these five interesting people that I've been following online for some time. One of them was a, was a guy named, uh, a guy in Dallas, and gosh, I can't even remember his name now because I haven't seen him in years. Another one was a lady, uh, Rhonda, who was my first coach. The third one was Craig Duswalt. The fourth one was Tony Robbins, and the fifth one was Zig Ziglar. Anybody know who Zig Ziglar was? By the way, I used to wash his car. <laughs> Seriously, that's how I got to know the guy. I used to wash his car. Uh, but I was doing this blog post on these five people. And one of the things I learned is, is I can tell your story so well, right? But if I called and asked you a few questions, you probably could sell me, tell me something very unique about you. Do you agree? Yeah. So I wrote an email to this guy, Craig Duswalt, and I said, hey, I'm actually going to write a quick blog post about you. Is there anything you want me to share? And you guys want to know what Craig Duswalt did? He wrote me back an email, and he said in five words, call me this afternoon in the phone number. So I got on the phone with him, and his opening statement to me was, so why aren't you going to be at my boot camp next week? <laughs> to which I got, on, I got in the car, and I drove from Texas out here to be at his boot camp. But telling the story of other people is what really magnified my blogging business. It really magnified my blogging business. And I now go out through, I mean, I, I, I mentorship with Craig, with Casey Everhart, who's in the room. I go out and teach people how to blog and go out and tell stories. Because there's three types of blogs that I encourage people to do in telling stories. Number one, I tell you, is tell something controversial. I have a friend, and I, you know, I can't even mention this title on Craig's stage, but anyway, I have a friend in Canada who writes blog posts that really would get you pissed off. But when you actually go read her blog post, you're like, oh, she makes sense. But the title would make most of you women go, no way. I'm not going to say it from Craig's stage. Um, <laughs> huh? She wrote, she's actually, if you go read my blog, she wrote a blog to put on mine, and it's actually called, um, are you ready to be called a B? I -T yeah, you know the word, yeah. She, yes, I can't say that, but you can. <laughs> That's the type of blogs. It's, it's so controversial, but you get there, and she actually teaches you on the subject. And she does it in five quick points. And then at the end of the blog, you're like, oh my God, I needed to learn that. Because in the beginning, when you read the title, you were pissed off at her. So it's a controversial. The second blog post I tell people is exactly what I told you guys to start writing down your story today, is I call it the drama. The drama blog post. How many of you have watched soap operas in your life? Yeah, okay. What's the hook for the soap opera? You gotta come back tomorrow to find out who killed who. Well, write blog posts that way. Tell your story, but leave something out. And they've got to come back tomorrow to find out what it is. And you basically keep them hooked. It's called the drama series. Well, guess what? You're living the drama series right now. Anybody living the drama series? Yeah. Guess what? My hand's up too. I live the drama series every day. So tell your story. And right now, you're living a story. And most people, don't, you don't think what you're doing right now is interesting. I did not think when I was going through selling my business, going homeless, sitting across the table from a guy, Zig Ziglar, was that impressive. I really didn't. I've been washing his car for years. I never thought much about that moment in time and how much it was going to define my life. And if I didn't write it down and didn't start telling it, most of you would go, wait a minute, Zig Ziglar told you to get on stages and speak? Because it wasn't that impactful at the time, but I found out later it was. So what you're going through right now is impactful for your future. Write it down. Tell the story. And number three, I love telling this one because I like to tell this blog idea. It comes down to this very unique thing. And I, I quit following what bloggers say to blog about. And those people who just teach people how to blog. I decided to go out and research the media people and see what they're doing. And uh, I'm going to steal Casey Everhart's question. <laughs> Who's the most influential woman in the world? Oprah. And
basically, this is what I learned from Casey Everhart. Go out and tell other people's stories on your blog. Do a video with them. All right, and by the way, anybody here this weekend, if you actually think you have a great new business and you want to tell your story, I have an audience that wants to hear it. Come catch me, we'll do a quick video interview. And then I'll put that interview on my blog. And I'll tell people on my blog all about you. Sound like an interesting idea? I think each one of you should be doing that in this room. How many met somebody new in this, in this event so far? We haven't even started. Look at the hands that went up. You guys met somebody new already. I mean, I've met new people, and I've been coming here for, I don't know, care of what, six years now? I don't know. And I met new people. It happens. Meet them. Tell their story. The more people's stories you go out and tell, the more interesting people you're going to find because they're like, oh, wow. How many here knew that Zig Ziglar is the reason I got into the speaking business? Few of you knew that, but not everybody knew. It was a personal conversation across the table that Zig said, Tim, you'd be a good speaker. I still don't see it, but <laughs> some people do. The point is, is you don't know what you're going to learn from somebody by actually interviewing them. It's like Dean Cain said last night, I am so looking forward to being interviewed by Dean Cain on Monday. I really am. Because it's influential taking your story out there. And Dean probably learned so much about people by just tuning in and going and asking you about you. That's all you're going to do, but put it on your own blog. Why not make you the media presence? Sound like some interesting ideas? All right. So are, are you ready for something very interesting today? All right. So I got this great warning, all right? I was told I was doing this about seven minutes ago. <laughs> And my, my, my wonderful coach in the back back there will tell you more about it later today, I'm sure.